Hello everybody! In this video I am going to show you how to remove a user account in a Windows operating system. In Windows, you can add several users into one system so that other people can access one and the same PC. If you have an account which you don't need, you can just remove it, because an extra account can take up a certain amount of your disk space and removing an account will make more free room for your data. In today's video, you will see how it's done. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. So, to remove a user account, open Windows Settings by clicking on the Start button. Then go to Accounts, Family and Other People. Here you will see the entire list of all users added to the current system. Choose the account you want to delete and click on Remove. You may need to enter the administrator's password. If the Remove button is not shown or it's inactive, sign in to your account as administrator and repeat these steps again. After that, you'll see a notification saying that all data stored in the user account will be deleted. It means deleting all of this user's data stored on the system drive C in the folder with the name of the user account, which you are going to remove, and this data includes all desktop objects, documents, photos, downloads, videos, and other files. User data on other disks will not be removed. If this user saved their files on another, non-system disk, the data will be preserved. Only the files from this user's libraries on the system drive C will be gone. To confirm your choice, click on Delete account and data. As soon as you do it, this information will never be restored. One more way to remove an account involves going to Control Panel. Open it by clicking on the search field and enter Control Panel. Then go to User Accounts. To make changes to an account, you should have administrator rights. In the window that opens, select Manage another account and choose the account you want to remove. In the window Change an account, you can choose various options – change name, password, type or delete it. Then click Delete the account. The window opens to ask you what you want to do with this user's files – delete them or keep them in a separate folder on the desktop. To remove all data, click Delete files. If you choose to keep files, a corresponding folder will appear on the desktop. Here is another way to remove an account, and it also requires having administrator rights. To use it, open the Run window by pressing Windows plus R key shortcut and enter NetPLWIZ. The User Accounts window will open. Choose the one you want to remove and click on Remove. After you confirm your choice, the user account will be deleted. Another method is by using Computer Management. To open it, right-click on the Start menu or on this PC and choose Computer Management or Manage. Then go to Local User and Groups, select Users and right-click on the account you want to delete. Choose Delete and then Yes to confirm your choice. Another way to remove an account is by using the registry. Wrong configuration of the registry can harm the operating system or even crash it, so make a backup before modifying it. You can watch one of our videos to see how to do it properly. Find the link in the description. To open the registry, launch the Run window by pressing the key shortcut Windows plus R and typing regedit in the window that opens. Then follow the path H key local machine. Software, Microsoft, Windows NT, Current Version, Profile List, where you can find user folders and where you need to locate the folder of the user whose account you are going to delete. 
To do it, check every folder for the file profile image path. In this value data line, you will see the path to the folder of the corresponding account. When you find the one you need, right-click on it and select Delete. Then follow the path C, Users, and delete the corresponding folder too, and then restart the computer. You can delete a user account with the command prompt as well. To do it, launch the command prompt as administrator. To begin with, let's see what users are registered in the system, so type the command netusers. Now, when you know the exact username whose account you want to remove, type the next command net user username slash delete. Inside the quotation marks, give the exact name of the user account to delete. As a result, you'll see a message saying the command was completed successfully and you can close the command prompt now. There are certain limitations to removing user accounts. You can't delete all the accounts. And if you want to create a new account and delete the old one, you should first create the new one and then give it the administrator rights. You won't be able to delete the old one having administrator rights until you sign in with the new account. If you want to delete your current account, but you don't want or can't add another user, the best choice would be to just reinstall the operating system. You can watch a detailed guide on reinstalling operating systems in one of our videos. Find the link in the description as usual. Yet, you should save all necessary files to another disk, because reinstallation will erase them. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.